popcorn back again showdown your host back again thank you for watching because yeah this shit is like this is amazing we did the thing a couple of weeks ago might as well do some more john carpenter movie christine 1983 a horror story about a 1958 plymouth fury it sounds interesting john carpenter is a little eccentric 10 million dollar budget want to see where that money went we've done enough talking and i run out of shit to say please remember if you watching and you like yo i kind of like this guy how about subscribing or hitting the bell maybe a like shoot me a comment i'm always looking for movies this is how we this do. is how we do this is how we do every day get around, get around. this is how we this do. is how we do this is how we do rick rock and show down this is how we this do. is how we do this is how we do every day get around, get around. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. how this do. is how we do this is how we do rick rock and show down Also, shout out to Art Evans. I love that guy. Oh, shit. You might as well be dumping toxic waste on our lawn. Just leave it. It's okay. Go on. Uh, your parents named you Arnie. All right. Okay. Arnie, I was thinking that we got you late, you know, like this year, huh? What do you care if you get a little hair in your mouth, huh? How about Sally Hayes, huh? She's cute. She's a sophomore. So what? You can't force him until it's his time. <laughs> Are you kidding? You carry your life savings between your legs. I think maybe I'll just beat off. Then I guess I'll be seeing you out there. I wouldn't put that in my mouth, Dennis. You don't know where it's been. Get out of here. Come on, Beamus, I just got here. Dennis, I'm in love. She's perfect, and you know how fussy I am. Mm. She looks smart, but she's got the body of a slut. Here she comes. I think you'll like it here. So, what do you think about admitting Red China into the UN? Do you think it was a good idea? She smiled at me. See you at lunch. Have you seen Arnie? Yeah, he's still in the shop. What's the matter? Buddy Repperton has his lunch. You want it? Come get it! A bully. Look at these grown ass bullies. <laughs> Why doesn't it say country? And look at this grown ass man in shop class. That's funny. Oh, why you got a knife for? First of all, you're like 31 at least. At least. Probably got a bean bag in your fucking bedroom. Yeah, that's chicken shit. Oh, yeah? Put it down, buddy. Yeah, put down the knife. What's up now? Oh, come on, bring what? It right now. Okay, you kids take a walk. What move is that? Real cute, huh? Three on one. Shut up, cunt face. Hey, you wanna shut your mouth? I don't have to listen to garbage like that coming from you, buddy. Shit. Buddy, tighten you up, boy. What are you saying, Arnie? Reparin's got a knife. And that guy was being tested by Peter Venkman at one time. Square. Good guess, but wrong. Pockets yeah, try it, you little bald fuck, and I'll knock you through the wall. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what? Look, uh, John Morris from The Doors. Go to the office, buddy. Get out of my goddamn classroom before I break my foot off in your ass! Bet it won't even start. She'll start. You need these. She's a beaut. Goddamn rolling went through hell and back with Christine. Make it 250 for you. I'll get the pink slip. Make it 250 for you. In 1978. But this is such a good idea, huh? Let's just come back tomorrow. Do you realize she's 20 years old? Hey, your funeral, man. Look, mister, would you would you give Arnie a break, huh? He's just a stupid kid. He doesn't know what he's doing. You did what? She's outside. Well, you're kidding, right? Oh, boy. Of course, registering a car at 17 is something else again, and for that I do need your permission. Mmm, I doubt that you tried very hard. Okay, that's it. I'm getting the fuck out of here. What kind of what? What did you say? Arnie's cussing. Arnie said he keeping his damn car. Nails, do it yourself. Shit. 
Et il va bien. Kiddo, you sold him that piece of shit. You ought to be fucking ashamed of yourself. You trying to help your buddy right out of here, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. Well, as mean as hell, ain't he? Arnie's had a hard day. You ought to find yourself some other charity besides me. Oh. Bug out, Dennis. You don't need this shit. I said you could scrounge through that shit pile out back. I didn't mean you could build your whole fucking car with it. Hey, just don't tip the table over. <laughs> we used to do that. And I play football too, so. Go ahead, man. What are you doing? It cruise past first. Hey, what are you reading? You think maybe you might, um, you might want to go out dancing with me? I don't know, maybe this Friday night after the game? I'm sorry, I can't. Well, well. Why not? I have a date. Mr. Gilder, are you lost? You are going to find yourself with no friends at all if you keep treating people this way. Get off my back. <laughs> Get off my back. What the hell do you want? I know about your brother. I know he died choking on exhaust fumes. You don't know shit, kid. You had a rubber hose from the exhaust pipe. I mean, I can't say why you didn't say anything. You wanted to sell it. But damn. Only time I ever interfered with it was when Rita killed herself. Who's Rita? His wife. That crack got smaller. This is how we this do. is how we do. This is how we do. Every day get around. Get around. This is how we this do. This is how we do. This is how we do. Look at them hairstyles. Yeah. You want me to go, uh, you want me to go deeper? Fine. Hang out the flat and I'll hit you on the second shot coming around. All right. Damn. Tree lining. Is that Cunningham's car? He got the nicest car in school. Oh, that was his date. Oh, oh what? What are you doing? These assholes. Look at the jerks over there in the corner. <laughs> the details, my friends, it's all in the details. You hear them guys from the shop taunting him from way across the field. November 5th, two days before my birthday. Yay. One centimeter more and I would have been paralyzed from the waist down. Yeah. She just did some job on you. So what's this about, about you and Lee Cabot, huh? No, I, I'm really spectrum-minded. She lost after my body, what can I say? I saw you guys at the football game. That's the reason why he got hurt. They just don't want me to grow up. Is he getting dark? See you around, pal. Yo, I've never in my life been through a drive-in. Oh, he is, he is making his move. I'm sorry, Arnie, I can't. Because I hate that car. Oh, wow. He got the baddest girl in school, though. The confidence came from the car. You know, I thought girls were supposed to be jealous of other girls, not cars. This car's a girl. Man, he bust his ass for that car. Got put out his house for that car, damn near. Get your goddamn hands off her! 
saved her life. So what, she was choking on her burger? Damn, Christine make you choke on a burger? He got her looking real nice. I don't even understand though, why? I hate fucking bullies. It's just so stupid. It just doesn't make sense. Why would y'all fuck up his car? Just tore up his whole shit. You got a red coat that matches the car. That's some hating ass shit. Her sweaters and her shorts. All that hard work that he put into that car. That's the wackest shit ever. Like, I don't even understand the point in that. Like, I don't even get, like, that's that's just stupid. Who did this? That's some sucker shit, really. Don't touch me, sinner! Oh, this is just me. Get away from her! Get away from her! What? Sorry. Look at that orange yes. carpet. To I... match the picture of orange uh, apples. One of them took a shit on the dashboard of my car, Ma. Now, how's that for rational, huh? Oh, fuck you. What? Listen, mister, you've been disrespectful us once too often. Back in there and apologize to your mother right now. Hey. That's right. Get his ass. I'm hitting the sack. <laughs> So Ernie done turned into a gangster and everything. Man, look what they did to his whip. All I could do is shake my head in disbelief. I can't believe somebody would do some shit like that. For what? Ooh wee. Okay. Show me. So I guess he know? Is he possessed? Like, how does that work? I mean, it kind of makes sense that he's connected with the car. And he's not surprised that this motherfucker is fixing itself. Yeah, that's the thing about movies. When they know certain characters are going to be victims. And I'm sure a lot of y'all know this, but when they start making you hate a character... That's when you know they're going to get it the worst. Playing an old song. Yes, go walk right in front of the car. Hey, Cunningham, you ain't mad, are you? What? I wonder how many cars they use in this movie. Yes, because it makes total sense to stand in the street. Get out the street. What are you standing there for? How you manage to get stuck there? Do you not know your way around this area? What you pulling out your pocket? Damn, he's still in the hospital, huh? What does that mean? Man, I gotta go. I hope you didn't think I could hang around here all day. <laughs> yeah, that's you, Arnie. You're always in demand. You do nice body work, Arnie. I thought this thing was total. Who told you that? Yeah, who told you that? Well, hell, everybody. Local police, your mom and dad, your girl. The report said uh, they punched holes in the body. Damn if I can see the fill. <laughs> so what do you want, huh? I really like this shade of red, Arnie. And since when is it against the law? Fix up your own car when somebody else busts it up, huh? Since never. And you get off my back. Right. Get the fuck out of here. Will you give me a fucking yes or no? Arnie, please don't do this to me. Arnie's all the way losing it. Why don't you just be straight with me, okay? You've had it, right? Well, fuck you, bitch! Oh, shit. Arnie, you gangsta it all the way out. The high school students buying liquor. Baby. He got a nice whip too. Them muscle cars in. <laughs> this dude is so cool. So I can keep up too, no problem. I'm trying to shake it. Woo! 
Drifting. 78. I just don't become in here! Oh! Is that Cunningham? It can't be. Come on, prick! We're not finished yet! Oh! Oh! Of course you would run exactly straight, because you're a villain. You could easily turn right or left, but no, you're going to try to outrun the car. Damn. Christine is pretty crucial. Uh, yeah. All right, you do is a favor. Come on, Jack. Come on out. Uh -uh. That car got what? Four bodies on it last night alone? It's a girl. Hello? I need to talk to you. What about Arnie? About Christine. I thought you wanted to talk about Christine. What do you know about that car? I know that the guy who owned the car before Arnie, his daughter choked to death in Christine. I don't think he's Arnie, Dennis. So y'all think Arnie's possessed by the car? Well, I'm going over to Arnie's tonight for New Year's. And Dennis, I wouldn't. I mean, we do it every year. His folks are going to be there. I just, just figured that maybe if I get him alone, you know, maybe he'll talk to me. Bro, it's just going to be that easy, huh? Okay. I mean, the plan sound good. Did you walk over there? Damn, look how she crossed the street. Get out the street! Yeah, that's Christine right there. Hey, my man, you really operating those babies. You really operating those babies? Well, have a beer. Don't be shy. My car's your car. Hey, don't be drinking Oops. and driving. Death. And don't be drinking and then and then going to drive. Stay your ass where you be and drink there. We'll always be friends as long as you stick with me. And you know what happens to shooters who don't. What that mean? Well, let's not kid each other, Dennis. He has voracious appetite. This dude is out of it. He needs like, everything. He act like he on something. Y'all sure this Christine or he just fucked up? Beautiful thing, and that's what we have. His eyes are like in the entire universe. Really when you blinks. believe right back in that someone, then watch out, world, because nobody can stop you. Then nobody ever. So what's this? The next day? Yeah, it's this car over there. Got the caterpillar popping. All right, so they they're gonna set the car up. Okay. It's a plan. So this is the battle throwdown. That's like some A-team shit. On the show called the A-team, for those that don't know, there's a team of guys that would get together and they would pre-plan their last battle of every episode. Build a barricade. Usually they were somewhere outgunned and outnumbered. And it was just like this. You would set it up and get ready. That's pretty simple. You better get in the office and stay outside, okay? Stop. Once she gets inside, hit the button and bring the door down. Shouldn't nothing go wrong. Look, you better get in the office. You hear me start this thing up? That, that's when you reach out and hit the button. Oh, shit. So the car was dead. So the car knew what they was going to try to do. That's a different type of evil. Like it hurt. Ah! Oh, man. Too bad your turtleneck couldn't have helped you out there. 
I love that car. They tried to help money. Arnie's dead. Look, how many times you gonna stand there? This is intense. Stephen King, John Carpenter, tag team event again. They're definitely trying to seal the deal, that's for damn sure. I wouldn't feel so bad if I were you. You two are heroes, you know. Real hero could have saved Arnie. Where the hell are your so parents? Hard. Hey, some things can't be helped. Murder, people. police, no parents. Fuck you looking at us for? That was from the Stephen King novel, Christine. It was cool, it was a nice little movie. Running at about an hour and 40 minutes. Watching the car take over Ernie. Ernie was a good person to pick because he was so the opposite of what he became before the end of the movie. Obviously, it killed him. Like the last person who owned the car probably killed him. Popcorn reaction. We did another one. Appreciate you guys. Until next time. It's with me. <laughs>